This is the Weekend Wake Up Show on 680 CJOB. We're talking to an interesting story. A guy's name is Mario Molinari, lives in Calgary, used to live in Winnipeg and Westwood. So I have a, a cousin, same name as me, only he goes by Thomas on Facebook anyway. Thomas Milroy pretty much lives in, uh, in Ottawa. Anyway, I talked to Mario, I sent a message. Anyway, he got the two of us confused. He's talking about us, uh, you know, catching up. I'm going, well, okay. <laughs> anyway, so I, I managed to get the interview. He lived here many years ago. Wrote a book. He's written a couple of books. This latest one is called The First Tenet. All right? Tenet. T-E-N-E-T. -E you got it? Not tenant, all right? Anyway, here, this is Mario Molinari talking about his uh, new novel and about how he got it out there and publishing it and how... <laughs> It's a lot of work putting this all together. Here is Mario Molinari, originally from Westwood. Yeah, it's like a religious doctrine, yeah. uh, a belief, you know, something, um, you know, uh, someone believes in without proof. Okay. So what, where did you yeah. get the idea for this one? Well, it came to me in a, in a sort of lucid dream one night, and uh, the premise in the beginning in the first chapter, without giving too much away, uh, the same thing happened uh, in my dream, but I was walking into a church. And so uh, when the readers read it, uh, they can uh, sort of uh, relate it to that. But I put it in a more contemporary setting, which is a bar. And I used to own a bar called Roxy's in, in a bar restaurant in, in Kelowna. So I used that uh, sort of location as, uh, as the, uh, where the event happens. Right. So what exactly? I have not read the book, I'm sorry to say, but I will. I promise I will when you send me the free copy. <laughs> I will send you a free copy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's it about without ruining the story? What, what's, what's going on? What's going on? There are two fellows, uh, brothers from Iraq, and uh, they head out uh, to uh, enact revenge on uh, um, on a uh, tragic incident that happened in their town and to their home, and um, spend uh, many years planning a, an attack and uh, act it out. Wow, it sounds uh, almost, well, I hate to say, topical, doesn't it? Yeah, it totally does. It's it's weird. I started writing it, uh, you know, six seven years ago, and um, the timing of it is uh, is incredible now because it, it's it's all about that that belief, you know, uh, that religious belief where they believe so strongly in something without proof and uh, and an act of revenge um, uh, based on uh, on their beliefs. I was reading also on the uh, on my computer machine. You had some uh, some good sales of this book, didn't you? Yeah, it took off pretty quick. We had a, a book launch last Thursday night, and uh, I bought, I thought I bought enough books, and I had like two or three left at the end of the evening at Chapters, uh, so it uh, went really well, and then uh, I looked on Amazon, and two days later it was sold out. Uh, hopefully they just didn't bring one copy in, but <laughs> it just fell out, <laughs> that's so crazy. that's awesome. Yeah. Tell me about the process, uh, Mary, not just of writing the book, but getting it, uh, getting it out there. Yeah, it's um, a lot of a lot of hard work. You know, it, it starts off with you know your draft, your first draft, and as Ernest Hemingway uh, said, the first draft's crap. He uses a different word, I believe. Yeah. But uh, you just just get it written, and then uh, you start working with editors and uh, farm your book out to people to read to get some feedback. Stephen King sends it out to five readers on his book in writing. Uh, he, or on writing, he talks about uh, getting just that honest. Uh, unbiased feedback, and then uh, you start tweaking it and working on it and uh, rewriting. And uh, when you think it's ready, uh, then you work it one more time with a, a good line editor, and uh, then uh, start shopping the book to uh, agents. That no, that's got to be the tough part too, as well as writing it. You have to get out there and sell it. Yeah, exactly. With my first book, I sent out oh man, probably 150, uh, you know, letters query letters, and uh, I received back, uh, I believe it was 99 rejection letters on it, and uh, so I, I sort of, okay, that's fine, I'm, I'm going to self-publish that book, and I did, and it, it did pretty good on its own. Uh, with the first tenant, I decided I'm going straight to uh, Amazon and uh, self-publish and uh, do the marketing with a, a you know, good team around me and launched it, and it's had really good hype so far, so I'm, I'm uh, excited. Yeah. What kind of, now? Is it also on uh, what is the word? Um, um, e-books, a Kindle. Kindle, yeah. Kindle's you know the way to go. 
Uh, you know, I do. I have sold a lot of hard copies, which everyone seems to want a hard copy. I, I don't understand it, but uh, uh, pretty, pretty weird. There was a young girl uh, that came to my uh, book signing. She was about 15, and she says, I want a hard copy. I go, I, aren't you young kids all into e-books? And she says, no, no, I really like paper. She says, it's sort of so nostalgic. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yeah I, I thought that was really, really cute. As far as uh, e-books go, it's a huge percentage of... Uh, the total books sold now. Yeah, they're re- and what a great move for that uh, for the industry, you know, it keeps it alive, you know? Yeah, totally, absolutely. Yeah. And I, I looked up a fact for you uh, last night, uh, maybe this would be kind of interesting. Uh, so I, I Googled um, on a, a site um, that's called authorearnings.com, mm-hmm. and indie published books on the daily unit sales of ebooks is 39%, and uh, 30 Four percent were from the big five published. Really? So the, uh, yeah. So thirty nine percent versus thirty four. And I'm going, wow! Like it's, it's amazing that uh, indie published books are, are outselling uh, the big five. Yeah. So, now, when you self publish, I guess you don't you don't get that marketing push. Is it, is it tougher that way? No, there's so so much help out there. I mean, you have to be very careful of who you go with because a lot of people just want to grab your money and say they're going to publish you or, or sorry, yeah, promote you and, and, right. and the social media and that, but um, doing research and finding out the legitimate companies, they can really help promote your book through getting views and, uh, you know, through getting um, uh, blogs, etc. Uh, out there on your on your book. Thank you very much. Mario Molinari, former Winnipegger, lives in Calgary. The book, his third one called The First Tenant, and uh, it's available. There you go. Thank you very much, Mario, at uh, 644.16 before. I got it.